Hi, so we're going to do number th uh, five now. So now, an association had a fund balance of 75 and 60 on December 31st. At the end of every month during the year, the association deposited 10 from membership fees and there were all these withdrawals. Find the dollar weighted. Okay, well, the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to start with 75. And so since this is occurring at time zero, no amount of months have elapsed. So that is why we are just multiplying 75 by the whole effective annual interest rate or a whole year of one plus I. Now we have uh, deposits of 10 from membership fees uh, every month. Well, how many months are there in a year? 12, right? So in total, there are 120, right? But for each deposit, each deposit must be multiplied by one plus uh, the number of months left times I. So for example, if we were to deposit 10 by the end of the first month, then it would be 10 times one plus 11 over 12 over I to i and then for the next month it will be 10 times 1 plus uh 10 over 12 times i the problem is that uh it's very complicated to compress this whole notion but we're gonna have to find out to do it some way we've already uh compressed the payments in whole so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna focus on the usual one plus uh, T over 12 times I format. The big thing here is that we need to compress the amount of times because it's uh, forever decreasing, but we need to put it all together. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna set T equals the arithmetic sum series formula, which is N, over to the number of terms times the first term plus the last term. So what we need here is that we know that there are 12 terms, 12 uh, membership fees and all. The first time term would be 11 over 12 because once um, once a, a membership fee, like a d deposit from membership fees deposit by the end of month, one month has elapsed. So 11 months is left, right? So we're going to do 11 as the first term, T, plus the last term. Well, what happens when uh the last deposit occurs on december 31st uh there aren't any months left so the last term of t would be zero so now we're going to solve this so 11 plus zero is 11 right and then we're going to do 11 times 12 which is 132 divided by 2 which is 66. Great. Now we're able to input 66 uh, as the T, right? So we do 66 divided by 12, which is 5.5. But we have to think about it as this. Not only did we multiply 10, by the amount of months occurring, but we also have to multiply 10 by uh, what's occurring here when we calculate the amount of times, right? So we did 10 times uh, 12, which is 120 in total fees, plus 10 times 5.5, which is just 55. So now we've completely compressed the membership fees on this part. Now let's go on to the next ones. Now there are withdrawals of five on February 28th. So again, the format. Um, so February 28th, 
that means that two months have elapsed. So that would mean that there are 10 months left. Then there would be withdrawals of 25. on June, that means that six months have elapsed. So that means that there are six months left. And then there is another withdrawal of 80 on October 15th. Well, we already know that nine months have already elapsed but then October is the 10th month. So that would mean that if September already ended and October hasn't really finished yet, then that means, and we're only left with half of it, that would mean that 9.5 months have elapsed. So we do, we would find out that there are 2.5 months left in the year. And then one last withdrawal of 35 times one plus, so now we got the full October. So there are only two months left in the year now. And we set this whole equation equal to the last uh, value in the fund balance, which is 60. Now it's time to solve for I, aka the dollar weighted rate of return. Now we're going to have to combine all of these, right? So I'm going to do 75 plus 75I plus 120. plus 55i minus 5 minus 50 over 12i minus 25 minus 150 I over 12 minus 80 minus 25 over 12, 2.5, oh, 2.5, we would have to do, so minus 80 minus 80 times 2.5 which would be 200, 200 over 12i minus 35 minus 35 times 2, 70 over 12 i equals 60. Now let's combine all the like terms. So 75, 120, negative 5, negative 25, negative 80, negative 35. Okay, we'll do 75 plus 120 minus 5, minus 25, minus 80, minus 35, which is 50. Now we have to combine all of the i's. So we'll do 75 plus 55i minus 50 divided by 12, minus 150 divided by 12 
minus 200 divided by 12 minus 70 divided by 12 which is 90 point eight three 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 and it goes on more but I'm just simplifying to that equals 60. Don't forget the I. Now 60 minus 50 is 10 which means that we would divide 10 by this amount. So 10 divided by 90 point eight three 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 which is 0.11, which in all is 11%. So we use the final answer.